Well, it looks like we already got some wood. So that is a plus. And my depth alarm is going off. Look at that. I'm going to come over here and do some camping. Hold up. Let's just, let's just pop out of the boat here. Got the boat. The, the boat. We got the boat loaded up. Man, look how loaded up that thing is. Got that boat loaded up. Look at that. One night camping. Look like I'm camping. That thing takes a lot of room up. It's going to be nice tonight. That thing is huge. But it's going to be really nice tonight, especially with that cot. That's going to be all right. Got us a steak over here. Got it lined up. I got two. I don't even need two of those. But hey, when you're in a boat and you ain't got to carry much, pretty awesome. I've never camped here before. Thought I'd come over here. I found this the other day when I was running around. And I noticed there was wood here. The other day I was like, there's some wood. I don't know if that's enough wood, but it's pretty good. One knot. Might gather a little bit more wood. And I just noticed it the other day when I was here, and I was like, man, maybe that wood's still here. I didn't think nobody'd been here. It's a pretty nice little spot. Nice fire pit. I'm gonna put my cot right over here. Oh yeah. Beautiful view. I know that wind sucks, especially with this Osmo. This Osmo's got like it's horrible, but whatever. I'm working on it. I need better cameras. I gotta start working on my audio. But look at that. Nice little spot here. Don't need much of all this room, but the view is, well, the view is awesome. Look at that view. Oh my goodness. All right, guys. All right, guys. We, going, we gotta unload all this stuff, get this stuff worked out. I know the audio. Every time the wind blows. This is weird when I first got here. I was like, oh, there's no wind today. No wind. I get over here. It's windy, which I kind of thought it might be due to how open it is here. But let's get all this stuff unpacked. I know I look kind of rough, but I've been going, trying to get this all done and in the car and everything for like the last two hours. So it's been a little rough. I'm going to get behind this tree. That way I can talk. And hopefully the wind ain't so bad. All right, guys. I'm going to get this stuff unloaded. Live out here in the wilderness for one night. <laughs> well, let's get it. That wind finally stopped. I'm a little worried about burning the fire due to the wind kind of worried about that but we'll see as time progresses all right guys let's get this stuff set up well guys there's my bedding situation it's all right it's pretty good on the cot i can stick some stuff under the cot keep it dry in case it rains i don't think it's supposed to rain tonight but maybe tomorrow so I could get a rain tonight i'm gonna let air out it's got a it's got that brand new kind of smell to it i don't really like that but i think it's gonna be comfortable I'm going to sleep like a baby. Probably be the best sleep I ever had in the woods. Got my zero bag down in there. Got me a big, luscious pillow. I was like, I'm going all out. No camping pillows for me. I'm going to use the real deal. Yes, sir. All right, guys, let's go fishing. I'll try to get out and do a little fish. I'm going to get me some water. Let's go out and try to get on some fish for it gets too dark. What time is it? Try that almost three. It took me forever to get up here today. So let's go try to catch some fish for it gets dark, guys. All right, let's go. I got out here much later than I thought I was going to, and I can't stay that late tomorrow, but I just want to get out and do a little camp one night camp. Quick thing, which it took like two hours, but it wasn't so bad. We're just gonna fish around here, see what we can catch. Look at that, hitting that top water already. Little fish, he's a little fish, probably bluegill or something. I left my catfish right. I might try to catch a couple bluegill what is that? Is that bait fish over there? I heard water flowing. That was weird. Um, yeah, I might try to catch catfish. You love how I leave my rod just sitting there. I do. I've got fifteen hundred rods and stuff all clear. I just left it in the water there. It won't hurt none. I'm gonna try to catch me a couple of these bluegill. Maybe try to catch a catfish back in here tonight. Maybe. Maybe so. Maybe maybe. Maybe maybe. We'll see how it goes. Well, everybody, I don't know what's up with my GoPro. It's like here lately, it's like I just can't. It's just one thing after another. The audio in that last video right there, and a lot of the audio through here has like a, a humming sound to it. And I know it's got to be something to do with the, the connector for the GoPro. I hate that thing. It's like this dongle. If y'all make videos, y'all y'all feel my pain. But it's so bad, and I think my connection with my wire to my microphone is loose. So I might need to replace it. I don't know. It's always something. But, guys, I fished... I mean, I fished my butt off this day. I fished so hard. I fished for like at least three or four hours. Just all up and down through here. I seen some bass, but I just could not really get anything to hit. 
I just couldn't get anything. And I tried everything. Right here, I just left uh, the campsite, and I'm just fishing a frog, throwing around, just just seeing what would hit or what I could get hit. This section of the lake, I don't fish that much because I have pretty bad luck gear. Like, I never can ever really get a good amount of fish. I may get one decent bass or a couple little bass or something, but normally I just can't do anything on this. It's more shallow over here. Uh, during the first of spring, the panfish are really good here when um, during the first of the summer and stuff when they start to, to spawn and stuff. I get, But it's just hit or miss. It's just one section of the lake. We all have that one spot we don't do so well on this side of the lake. I don't do that great. But I wanted to camp here because I never camped over in this area before. Uh, but I do end up getting a pretty good, pretty cool thing happening here. So I want to go ahead and jump to that. Let y'all check this out. But I appreciate y'all guys for watching these videos. But yeah, guys, after I got back, to, I, I fished for a few hours. And then I got, was like, I don't know what to do. So I decided to go back to camp uh, and get a little snack or whatever. And go back to camp and think about what I was doing wrong. Maybe tie on some different lures. Just try to really think about how to fish this area but when i was leaving earlier i mentioned it in another clip i heard something that sounded like waterfall or like water or something weird over there well what it was is around the around the way here in a second y'all see this is really cool but i just want to talk through this area kind of let you know what's going on i just i kept hearing it when i got back to camp and i was like what is that and then i decided i was like i'm gonna get my rod i'm gonna walk around the corner so all right guys i'm gonna let y'all check it out Ooh. Oh, I don't know if I caught that on camera or not. Oh my god, there's some big bass right here. Oh, I missed him. Oh my god, look at those bass. There's like tons right here. There's one. There's just monsters everywhere. Right by where I'm camping. Oh my god, this one's not. Look at those. There's some huge ones in here. Oh my god, look at those guys. Holy cow. This one's not even nearly as big. I mean, look at those. Holy. Look at that bass right there. I mean, look at those guys. Those are huge spots, guys. Look at those. Whoa. God, I hope those come back. There's loads of them right here. Look at that guy. He's pretty nice. He's little, though. He's only like a pound. Look at that fish. Holy cow. Dude, this place right here, right next to my campsite, there's just tons of big bass in here. Like bass heaven. I'm totally throwing the wrong thing. They're chasing hard. I mean chasing. So hard. Look at that. Holy shit. Uh, I guess we'll put this. Where's my boat? I got an idea. I got an idea, guys. Well, guys, after that, I went back over the boat and I grabbed a square bill. Little, just bluegill imitation, like a photo realistic, uh, photo realistic bluegill imitation. And I thought, maybe, because all those fish, like, they were hopped up chasing bluegill. And, I mean, they were just so hopped up. I was like, maybe I could just catch one on a square bill, you know, get it moving across there. And I just kept fishing, and I kept fishing. And that was it, guys. I just couldn't catch anything else. It was so depressing. 
I'd seen all those nice bass, and I, granted, like I was a little excited because at this point I've been fishing for hours. I mean, I've been fishing for hours, had not seen a single fish over here on the side of the lake, and lo and behold, right next to where I'm literally can't like right next to my campsite, there's all these bass, and there was some good sized bass in there. There really were some of those bass. That water's deceiving. Those bass are bigger than you think they are. There was some nice bass, and there's definitely some three or four pound bass. I seen a couple of them. There was a few. Most of them are, you know, in the one pound, two pound range. But there was a couple of big boys in there. Just nothing. They just moved on out and went around. And I'd fish around, and I just could not. I just couldn't catch anything. I just couldn't get anything. But all right, guys, let's get back to the video. And I appreciate y'all for watching this. Let's just jump back into it. The old woods eggs. I didn't bring anything right to eat this stuff with, but it'll be good. It'll be good. I think it'll be good. I don't know. We about to eat it. Look at it. We about to get in here. Today's been rough, guys. It's been like I can't catch a fish. Maybe I'll catch a catfish. That'd be kind of cool. I see catfish up here too much. I've never really caught many catfish during this time of year. Now, I've caught some in the spring and first of spring really is mainly when I catch them up here but other than that it's kind of a it's kind of a hit or miss kind of deal I've never really caught them in the, in the fall up here but I've never really fished for catfish much in the fall up here so I only got one rod out so caught a couple of bluegill but today has been rough man it's been rough I seen those big bass over there I mean there was big bass in there I mean a couple of those guys were chunky like some chunky guys that would have been nice. They're still over there. I mean, they're not right now, but I mean, they may come back is what I'm trying to say. They're still out there. Maybe tomorrow we can catch some bass where I gotta go home. I just want to come up here, spend the night, just get out of the house, come up in the woods, maybe make a video. I was hoping I'd catch a few more fish than what I caught, but I got here late. If I could have got here at like nine o'clock this morning and been on the water and out here at nine, I mean, I didn't get here until, well, I came, I came out here and I uh, come to the boat dock and I realized I forgot my cot and I forgot a couple things. So I had to turn all the way back around, head all the way home and get those things. So by the time I actually got to the site, it was almost two o'clock. So that was unfortunate. And I'm burning my eggs. I'll just heat these tortillas up and I can just eat out of that little bowl. And put my bacon and my egg in there. I'll be good to go. I had some salsa, but I think I forgot it. Now nah, forget everything. All right, guys. I got the perfect fire going. I got my light up. I'm tired. That was a beautiful sunset. Absolutely beautiful. Fire's nice. I'll probably go to bed here in a little bit. I'm tired. I'm like wore out. Well, guys, it's about close to 12 o'clock. I've been sitting here watching movies, just laying in here. I'm like really warm. I mean, like super toasty. It's supposed to be down in the lower 40s or upper 30s tonight. And it's close to 12 o'clock. I'm pretty tired. I guess we'll call it tonight, but I'm pretty down here. I mean, I got my down bag. I mean, this is down zero base. Very nice warm bag. And then on my pad, and I've got some just random stuff laying around in here and stuff. But I guess I'm going to call it tonight, guys. I'll see y'all in the morning. I'm going to crash out. I'm tired. Well, guys, I woke up to some rain this morning. But I've stayed dry. I was warm last night. I was really warm. Stayed pretty, pretty warm. Actually, I was extremely warm. I was actually surprised warm. I was even hot at a few times. I'd take my socks and stuff off because I was like, man, I'm hot. I don't know how much rain's supposed to come through. That's not good. I don't want to get stuck in the tent. Well, I have to pack stuff up today, too, so I'm like, eh. That's not the best thing in the world. So I don't know. We'll see, guys. I'm going to get up and see what's going on. Well, it's cool this morning. It's a little cold. 
a little cold and a little cool. A little wet, and it's wet, what it really is. It's cold, cool, and wet. But we did all right, we did all right. Not too bad, I'm gonna try to go out for just a little bit, do some fishing. I slept in at like nine o'clock. I was very comfortable in that tent. I really was. I got, it was weird, cause normally it's like laying on the ground or, oh, excuse me. Laying on the ground or something like that, or like, you know, being uncomfortable in my back or something. What wakes me up, what woke me up and that thing's getting too hot. I was just getting, that zero down bag and that top closed, it was, it was warm. Like really warm, I was sweating at one point, but. All right guys, let's see if we can't get out and go get you a couple of fish this morning. Before I got to go. I always hate packing up in the rain, but hopefully it won't rain no more. All right guys, let's go. Guys, it turned out to be a really nice camping trip, but a really horrible fishing video. <laughs> I fished, I got up that morning and went around and spent the next three and a half hours or so fishing and could not catch a single fish. Not even a bluegill. I couldn't catch nothing. Nothing. I couldn't even get a bite on the catfish rod. I left it out all night last night and the bait was still on it as well. Yep, that, that, that was the story of this. All right, guys, let's jump back into it. Well, guys, I'm going to apologize for the wind. i got to leave for something. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, guys, I'm going to apologize for the wind noise. We fished for, man, I fished for like about three and a half hours, close to four. It's one o'clock. It's about time for me to back up and go. I'm going to take that stuff home and dry it out tonight. We fished hard today, and I didn't get nothing. I fished everything I had, anything I could think of. The weather today is much cloudier, much cooler. And it just changed. I don't know, the fish, I just can't get on it. I never have the greatest luck on this end of the lake. I got lucky and seen some big bass over there yesterday, right next to us, and I may hit it one more time before I leave just to walk over there. But last time I looked, there wasn't nothing over there. But I just don't have good luck down here. I never do, it's just one of those, like everybody, you know how that this place you have that you just don't have good luck, but it seems like you should. But we did get one bass while we were here, one bass. But I'm glad y'all came along with me. I'm going to post this video. We come out and spend the night in the woods. Not so bad. I hope y'all enjoyed this. I wish I could have caught more fish for y'all, but it is what it is, guys. It just happens. It's realistic. But yeah, guys, I appreciate y'all for watching these videos. Sorry, I heard a bass head over there, and I was like, hey, they're over there mocking me. They're mocking me, the bass are like, ha-ha, you can't catch us. All right, guys, I appreciate y'all guys for watching these videos and all that good stuff. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, I'll see y'all guys later. See you.